two episodes left of the Hashira training arc, and I hear these last two are special. It's gonna be even peak because they managed to stretch out a 40 minute movie into eight goddamn episodes where the first episode itself was longer than the movie but you know what they are gonna do with the infinity castle look i heard that i know that you guys checked it out right apparently it's gonna be also made into movies so whether or not you guys are happy about that that's that's probably a different video to make but hey let's finish season four hard sparrow with the note that's right Repetitive something. Hashira Mark, baby. He moved it. Man, how is a Demon Slayer Mark reveal gonna happen with Inosuke? Because he wears a mask. Unless the mark appears on his chest or other body. It would be really cool if there was like a moment where Inosuke is like popping off and the mask is on. And you don't really know if he has the mark, you know, activated or not, because obviously the mask. Interesting how they're going to approach that. That's right. This is very true. It's less about your upper muscles. It's what your lower. He's doing it, man. One show. Tempura. Tempura. Let's go, Inosuke! How? Does he have the mark on right? Uh, is he just doing a base form? Inosuke is just built different though. He has that like wild boy, you know, instincts, you know, raw power. So I think this is just like brute forcing it without the mark. <laughs> you have such a loser mindset, Zenitsu. What is it? Stone Hashira Gyomi. One show done? I think he did it. 350 something feet. Unless there's a secret test. He's probably the only one that passed it, right? Well, actually, maybe Genya already did it too. Yeah. Please kill Muzan for me. This is where my journey ends. If he dies here, I straight up don't think other people can activate the Demon Slayer mark. I straight up think, like... Tanjiro needs to be at the core of the group of people when they all have that saying. Like, I'm sure Muchiro and Mutsuri, Mitsuri can do it without him. But like, 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 I'm pretty sure like it needs, he needs to be there for people to activate it the first time. Mr. Murata is still, like, like, imagine this. Imagine this. Tanjiro, Zenitsu, Inosuke. That's the core three. We know this. And then Mr. Murata, the strongest named NPC, right in the middle. Dude. Yeah, also, what about Nesco? Fuck Nesco, man. Who cares about Nesco? Tanjiro didn't even think about her. It would have been funnier if his tears were the thing that dripped into Tanjiro's face. And it's like, oh, there's water. Where's it coming from? It's just Yomei just fucking crying. Oh, this kid is about to die. Can you say something different, bro? No, you can't. <laughs> Take more water. <laughs> Take more water. Hmm? Yeah, the decision at the village. What do we do? Oh, swordsman. So it's glaze from Gyome. Take more water. Yeah, what he's saying is right, but like, you know, damn, he's very humble. Backstory with Gyome? Backstory with Gyome? 
based. Based. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Kyomi is absolutely right. Children are cruel. They're little fucking little demons, bro. Little fiends. Because, like, they have no awareness. They have no understanding of how the world works. They'll just fucking speak their mind. They don't care how much, how cruel the shit they're just saying. Like, these kids are vicious, man. Kyomi is absolutely correct. Oh, he means Tanjiro. Well, I guess relative to Kyomi, Tanjiro is very young. But Tanjiro is at, like, a... Young adolescent phase where he's kind of beyond that. I'm talking about like really small kids where like they don't have a fucking filter. They just say whatever is on their mind. Obstinate and flexible boy. Tanjiro is now done with the training. Gyu, I don't think, is, you know, hosting his own session either. Damn! Dude, Gyome is our biggest fan! Backstory time. Backstory time, let's go. Everything is just ecstasy to him. Alright, Gyome is to take care of orphans. I wonder if that's actually true or if he's lying. This kid. What's going on with this kid right here? Please eat mine? Oh. He's obviously making sure the kids are getting fed, you know, more than he is, right? He's taking good care of them. Even the justification he made about the meal right now, about the good deal, it's probably not really that nice, right? He probably has to sacrifice himself so that the kids can be well taken care of. Hungry <laughs> doesn't bother me. And this is obviously before he became a demon slayer, right? I'm just gonna assume that all these kids are gonna die. And then he's gonna join a demon slayer corpse. Yep, yeah, don't get attached to these kids. They're all just gonna die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing in common with all the goddamn Hashiras, it's not their backstories are just all so twisted, bro. Uh-oh, one night! Oh no, one night! Getting hunted by a demon. <gasps> he broke the rules. Oh no! Fuck them, kids. Fuck them, kids. The epitome of selfishness. I don't blame the kid. Yeah, I mean, it's easy for us to say that. But if you're in that life or that situation, you never know what kind of decision you'd be making. Okay, this is be this is actually beyond ridiculous at this point. You, so not only did he fucking rat and say where we live, he then went to take down these wisteria wisps, which was to prevent the demons from filming. Absolute trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, nah, absolute trash. That's crazy. He got. That's insane. Ooh, they're all gonna die now. <laughs> Are they ran? Very interesting story though, because all the kids didn't listen to him. All of this happened because the kids didn't listen to him. You're, you're the goddamn strongest Hashira, bro. Come on now. I see. The, the lesson here is that they didn't have faith in him because they, they just assumed that he was weak. He was blind. He was very, you know, shriveled up. So the kids, it, the, the story here is so then he became strong 
because of this, he became super stupidly strong so that, you know, yes, I just said that he was fucking weak without the food. Fucking mobile chatters, bro. Five minutes fucking behind. Let me fucking finish what I'm saying. Motherfucker, stop typing before I fucking finish my sentence. God damn it. Okay, only Sayo should survive then. Only Sayo survives then or what? Did he beat the demon or what? Oh, oh that's where he got the scar. What? So that's where he got the scar from. And now, in this weakened, you know, malnourished state, he ripped the arms off, so he was always fucking cracked. I hope Sly was not watching this. <laughs> no sword required. Just pummeled this demon. Probably the first demon he's ever encountered in this nerve state while being blind. Sai is probably terrified and runs off now, huh? <laughs> oh, poor Sayo, man! <laughs> Dude is so strong. And my strength was terrifying even to me. This is a crazy line. Imagine being so strong. You're like, yo, you know what I'm scared of the most? Me. Myself. When I get out of control, oh my god, I don't know what to do anymore. I would have gone my whole life never knowing how strong I was. These lines are crazy. This is actually the makings of the strongest being ever. Dude, it's like, damn, I really didn't know I was that strong. Sun kills the demon, obviously, because we can't, you know, just kill the demon without fit. a sword. And what happened to Sayo, man? Sayo probably blamed it. On Gyome, huh? Sai is probably so terrified, huh? The one who killed everyone. These kids suck. These kids absolutely suck. Holy shit. Like, from the beginning to the end. All the kids, if they only listened to Gyome, everything would have been mostly fine. But even Sayo says this shit. Like, fully aware that a demon came and killed them. You're gonna blame this on Gyome? That is insane. Yeah, we should have let the demon finish the job. But Gyome is such a benevolent person. He holds no grudge. She is just four years old. Me. I could blame Gyome. You're too good of a person. But let me come in and do the job that you can't do because you're too good. Listen, I'm a fucking villain. Fuck that four-year-old. I would have fucking just... Stone breathing, fucking just, I don't know. Stone breathing. Selfish little gremlins. And she got, and he didn't get that at all. He got put in the jail for that shit. And then the tears. And then the tears. So stupid, bro. Very true. No matter how much you seem like a good person, no matter how, you know, holier than thou you may act, when, like, it's a life or death situation, that's when people's true sides come out. And Tanjiro was always true to himself. Also, he just called us stupid. You were pure and single oh, uh, single minded. I thought he said simple minded. Never mind. I thought he called us stupid for a second. I mean, we, we kind of are. Dude, this something. He's such a good character. Aww, head pad. Any last words, Sayo? I don't care if you're four years old. I'm gonna fucking end her, bro. Mm -mm, activating my Demon Slayer mark just to end Sayo, a four year old child. Okay. Now what? Where do we go? 
Master! Maybe we're gonna get master scenes. Muzan and master, come on. Oh, what's up, Genya? Kill me, you turn up to Genya! You're not gonna be my apprentice. You, you got no talent, kid. I'm sorry. You're not. <laughs> oh, but okay. So he wouldn't because of the talent, but he did let him because he sensed that he was eating demons. Okay, 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 okay. So, Skoku, Sugoku, and Apprentice is a little bit different, right? Apprentice is like, you know, anyone can join. But a Skoku is basically like right-hand junior. Like, you are literally like my most important junior that I kind of keep around, right? So, while there are many apprentices, just because you're an apprentice does not mean that you are this, um, what is the term? Uh, Suguko, right? Oh. あ、そうだったのか。校長さんにはめちゃくちゃ嫌な顔。犬助ですね、キャラ。犬助。それは全員の分だから。ファックスエンスイートフード。俺はあともう少しだぜ。あ、お前呼吸使えねえのか。He's <laughs> What a loser! <laughs> Classic Inosuke, I love him. I am perfectly fine with Genya replacing Zenitsu in the core 3. It's not gonna happen, but I much prefer the dynamic between these three versus Zenitsu being here. I hate on Zenitsu a lot. Oh, Zenitsu's training? If he's not being a loser and he actually wants to train and move this, I'll be impressed. He sounds more serious now. Also, the mark is still activated. What is up with that? I'm not sure if... Because before, it would the mark would go back to his original, you know, different mark before. But now it's just permanently there. And I don't think he is in Demon Slayer Mark mode. It's just that... With this new way of being able to, you know, use it at will ever since last episode. It seems like it's just a permanent thing. And just because it's present doesn't mean he has the mark activated. But it is just there now, is my assumption. I don't know. Yeah, because he can use it on will, I think it's still there. What's going on with Zenitsu, man? Alright. This is the Zenitsu I like. When he gets serious, no more bullshit, you know, you know, just normal Zenitsu. When he gets serious about this, all right, he, he steals his resolve. It was that letter too, you're right. There was that letter. Maybe someone passed away? Hmm. Something serious is happening with Zenitsu. Bro is bleeding from his head? Crazy animation going on right now. Holy. Bro, this scene alone. Oh my god, bro. Th th this scene right here? <laughs> Why did they go so crazy here? Holy. Zenitsu. ずっと預けたままでいいんだろうか。仕事ないかな。あれ？えっとここが。おお。柱バスアシラ。The wind breathing animation is crazy. But what? He can keep up now. Does that mean you can compete? He did say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was more like, I don't deserve to be Hashira. This is not like, you know, I'm better than you, right? It's a tie! 
Now barehanded fights. If we kill each other, hold up. Also, isn't there a rest yeah? Isn't there a restraining order right now? There is, right? Because <laughs> we started a brawl at his training session. Yeah, the restraining order. Are they? I don't think Sanami really cares about stuff like that. Really? It's actually his weakness? He gave in there. I love red bean mochi. I love red bean anything. Pretty much what Anpan is. So I think it's right. He didn't deny it. He loves the red bean mochi. Now, can Tanjiro spar with you guys too? Yeah, Soka. Soka. You're just so awkward. You just probably wanted to be like a friend and they're just so awkward and just, he's just so mad. It's just like, alright, I guess we're fighting right now. I kind of feel bad for Gyu. He's just very misunderstood. Because he's a little bit socially in it. And, and, and Sanami also is just a twisted personality. You can't reason with them. So it's just super, super fucking angry person versus like a shut in introvert that doesn't really know what to do. Okay. A negotiate with the red mochi. Good plan. You want to be friends? Aww. So mean, bro. Little nice detail. Gyu wrapped up his... His, his drip and placed it right for Tanjiro to kind of place his head on because he's so nice, huh? They're thrown out? What happened? Iguro and Tokito will be out now of all times. Okay, okay, they're just gone for now. He does like it. No, you're messed up. Upper four eye, upper four eye, right? Upper four. Bing, bing. Ew. Ew. Read the number in the eye, bro. Four. Upper four. Yep. Yep. Master? Nezuko? Muzan? Muzan! No, no, as soon as I saw these feet. <laughs> That's right. Michael Jackson clothing. Look at his white fucking pants, bro. It's him. Oh, shit. He's here. He's straight up walking into the master's place? Look at that CGI I missed. It's actually so good. The anticipation is killing me. Holy shit, he's taking his time. That's it! Yo, that's so troll! You just gave that oh my it was pretty epic one. Holy shit! He just slowly walking step, 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 and then psych ending. But wait, there is a post-credit scene. That's right. There is a post-credit scene. Here we go, here we go. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Oh, the ending is so synchronized with them walking. I love- I actually love this ending more than the opening. <laughs> Look at that cape, man. It's so cool. Yo, what's going on? Where's security? Louder. Louder. Yeah, he knows now. Dude, the cape movement. Dude, the amount- the, this, this is actually so good. The amount of love for Muzan right now. It's insane. Just slowly walking. The cameraman just like, slowly. Just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> These slow footsteps. Okay. <laughs> the slow walking. They're just padding the watch time so hard. The only reason this episode was like a little bit longer than standard is because Muzan fucking taking forever to walk to make sure they do it. But you know what? I prefer this. I prefer this over fucking Muchiro and Tanjiro throwing 10 fucking airplanes, bro. Nah, that was just L's, you know, padding. This is great padding. I'll watch 10 minutes of this shit. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> dude.
He's still walking! Oh my god! Don't you just dare end it right here. Give me a line. Okay, good, 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 good. Have a dialogue. Come on. I wanted to say some shit like, long time no see, brother. What's the relation? Why is Muzana tainting your family's name? More. More. Yeah, Muzan. Look at that trip. God, he's so cool. Done. All right, we're gonna get a master. I wanted an outro scene for Muzan lore. Rhinoceros beetles. I need to see a scene where he eats red bean mochi, man. And that is today's episode of Demon Slayer. And listen, the beginning stuff with Gyomei, the backstory, it's pretty tragic. I wouldn't say it's the most tragic backstory. I think that Muichiro's backstory is the most tragic so far. Who else is really, really tragic? Tanjiro's, I mean, his family all die. I, I think Muichiro's was very impactful, though. It, it was just a crazy plot twist. But Gyomei's backstory, it was like... Fuck them kids, right? It's like, fuck them kids, man. Now, Genya's backstory also really sad. Sanami's backstory, yeah, they're, they're really, that's really, really sad. And then the other stuff with Gyu and Sanami, and that's, that's a little bit of stalling, right? The prime stuff was, you know, the Muzan walk. Holy shit, I will, if you gave me an entire episode of just solely walking, it would be still peak. And people would love that shit. Oh my god. He's finally found the master. Thanks to the infiltration and spying, you know, from the upper four. And I don't know what the relation is. Muzan is an ancient, ancient being. We know the backstory of him at the end of Swordsmith's Village. Of how he turned into this thing, right? He's from the ancient times. Master, I don't think we really know any lore about him. But he considered Muzan a stain in his family. Does that mean that this is blood-related issues? Does that mean that just because the master deals with, you know, Demon Slayer, you know, organization. The fact that, you know, Muzan is still around. is like, that is the stain on our, you know, lineage as Demon Slayers. But, I don't know. Next episode, we're gonna get like a movie feature cinema kind of linked uh, episode. So hope you guys are ready for that. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't use the reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.